Hey guys, all right, so I wanted to talk about the Miss Universe 2018 preliminary competition, specifically Katriana Gray's performance. I thought Miss Thanks slayed. I thought she did a really good job. Um, for the first time, I'm actually pretty confident that she'll do just fine during finals night, but I still got that doubt because it's like, 2018 hasn't really been a strong performance, I guess you can say, for the Philippines. I mean, we've had girls do really well. Um, at Miss International, our girl got first runner up. We just got top 10 during Miss Super National and Miss Globe got top 15. However, there are pageants that people are to this day saying it's a cooking show. Like during Miss Grand International, I thought Eva did a really good job, but unfortunately, what went wrong? And during Miss World, to this day, a week later, I'm still salty as fuck. Ate Katarina did not place in the top 30 and she got disqualified apparently during her Beauty with a Purpose performance so bullshit but anyways I thought Catriona did a really good job during her prelims um the only criticism I got for her was during her introduction she said Philippines and it's like girl you don't gotta be all extra about it just say the country say the country that you're representing girl and during her swimsuit I just loved the wind and the hair it was just rocking she was swaying she was just working it girl and I was super super like yes girl get it girl um she was having fun with it and I saw some Atepia in her and I was like, okay, girl, I see you. And then the other part too was during her evening gown. I thought she rocked with that tangerine dream, little brown orange with the sparkles and the sequin and all that glitter fierceness. And then she kind of did like the, the over the shoulder thing that Atepia does. And I'm like, yes, girl, get that fourth crown, honey. Um, she rocked it, but I still have that doubt because it's like, Okay, and I say this every year, even when Ate Maxine competed, I was like, yeah, just because it's host in the Philippines, you really never know. Um, and I still have that doubt because it's just like, you can expect your favorites to place and they don't. And then once again, they brought back the Europe versus Americas versus Africa and Asia Pacific. And it's like, why? Why do that when it should be the best of the best of the top 20, not by continent? I mean, it's just not fair. Um, last year, a lot of girls got cut because of that bullshit. Indonesia, Mexico, um, who were the other countries? Uh, Ireland, not Ireland. Um, I think it was Iceland that I was rooting for last year. Like, a lot of these countries that I was expecting to place didn't, and it's because they were categorized in certain country or certain continents or regions, and I'm like, why? Um, and I just hope that Catriona this year is not in the wild card. Hopefully, she's part of Africa and Asia Pacific of the top five but yeah they're categorized and then the five wild cards and i just don't think it's fair and they're doing it two years in a row so whatever but um overall miss thing did really well she just was feeling her oats she was just going for it and again i just love the little like shoulder thing she did with with her evening gown i thought that was super fierce um yeah i that's the only performance i saw so far i was planning to do a my prediction of the top 20 based off regions i guess but until then, I, I gotta root for my girl. I gotta root for my family's home country, even though I was born and raised in the U.S. I need to look at Sarah's performance, too, because Sarah Rose Summers is, you know, my home country. But, you know, my heart is for my family's home country. So, um, yeah, here we go for Sunday. But thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comments how you thought about Catriona's performance. Do you think she did well? or not, and I didn't get to see who were the preliminary judges, but I was gonna get back on it and review it myself. But um, yeah, I'm just hopeful as long as she makes that top 20, I'm happy. And then hopefully from there, she can take this crown and be the fourth winner from the Philippines. So until then, bye.